today's vlog. As you guys can see, we are in like construction mode. We are making a lot of progress on the little like renovations that we're doing. I feel like I don't know if that's the right word for it because it's not like huge, huge changes, but just some changes they're making to our house. I'll show you guys at the bathroom. The plumbers are actually here. They've been working on the upstairs bathroom, but we got new countertops, which I'm so excited about. The ones we had before were not a good material and the sink was like built into it. It just looked not very awesome. So these are the same ones that we have downstairs in the basement. They're super cute. They're like kind of gray, but they're super light and they just have like some texture to them. And then these sinks, if you guys remember them from the house that we were building that we ended up selling, um, I already have the sinks. So I wanted to use them in here. I think they're so cute. They're from Nude Co. And then we took down the mirrors. We are getting new mirrors. They're doing like tile right here. I wanted to do the whole wall, but it was very expensive. So I was like, let's just do, actually it was Dwellify's idea. They had a lot of really good ideas to just do. Basically, I think it'll kind of be like that much. It's like an accent. So they'll be doing that. Then we have new mirrors. And then I just kept our same lights and we'll be switching this out to gold and we have gold faucets. And then we're switching these out to gold too. I really wanted to take these off completely and do knobs, but it was also super expensive to like take the faces off and have them fill the holes and then do something else that's like in a different spot. So we did a few of those in the kitchen just to kind of like switch it up, but I decided to just keep the same shape and size for the bathrooms. So it kind of limited like the choices that I could make. And yeah, we have Parker side too. And then they're also switching out in the shower and the tub, the these things to gold too. We brought this mirror in here just to kind of have something so we won't have these other mirrors in here for a few days, but I'll show you guys the kitchen in a minute. Both Parker and I have random things to get done today. So my time is from 10 to 12. His is gonna be like one to three-ish. Basically us just like swapping off, taking care of kids. I just showered and got ready. It's already 10 36 and all I've literally done today is get ready. I haven't actually like done anything yet. But one of the things I needed to do was start the vlog. So I'm doing that right now. And then I also need to do, um, if you guys know that TikTok sound, it's like the Beyonce song, it's like 10, 10, 9, 8, and you count down from like when you're pregnant. I have started that video, so I need to do like the next update for that. So. I'm obsessed with this OctoBuddy thing. I will link it down below for you guys. I don't have it on my phone all the time because I cannot function without a pop socket. So I have to like swap my phone case. So I just put this on when I'm filming, but you can stick it to like the window, whatever. It's just really nice. I'm in the office now. It's been so nice to have our office like back put together. I think it's been like this probably for like a couple months now, but for a long time, we didn't have a desk in here because obviously I was thinking we were gonna move into our new house. Sold my other one. We literally didn't have a desk for probably a year and a half. This room just like turned into a storage room. So I didn't ever use it for work. Now it's so nice to like have the space, especially because the plumbers are about to go into my bathroom. Let's see what is on my to-do list today. After the plumbers leave, I need to put everything back in where it goes for that bathroom because it's a mess in there, as you guys saw. We're also going on a trip very soon. So I already started packing like a week ago because I needed to see if we needed to get like new spring clothes for the girls. Just like warm stuff to wear because obviously it's freezing here. So I kind of like got all of their stuff together. Literally like two weeks in advance just to make sure that I didn't need to like order anything for them. Usually Lola wears a lot of like Cove's older clothes so she's usually pretty stocked up. She gets like new stuff every season too but she was good and then Cove was also good so I didn't need to order anything and for myself I also didn't order anything even though I am so pregnant and nothing fits me. I actually need to try my swimsuits on and make sure that they will still fit so even though we don't leave for a few days I'm gonna kind of just like get started with the actual packing process for that. I need to order a couple of things basically just like random stuff that I need to be getting done. I'm making sure my inbox is all caught up. I also wanna say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. If one of your goals for 2024 is to just like better yourself and better your life, therapy is a great place to start and I love BetterHelp because everything is online. Starting therapy is just a lot easier when it's that way and a lot less intimidating. You can do your therapy sessions as a video chat, a phone call, or through messaging, just whatever's most comfortable for you. We have over 30,000 therapists. Based on your needs, your preferences, your location, all of that, they can match you with one. And then if you are not Really like vibing with that one you can easily just like switch at no additional cost so you go on their website fill out a little questionnaire kind of just ask you about like your challenges what you're going through what type of therapist you would like and then in most cases you'll be matched within 48 hours so it's pretty quick and easy to like get started with the process and you can also schedule your appointments at any time that is convenient for you and i have a link for you guys it's betterhelp help slash aspen so that's going to be it down below you guys can join over a four million people who have used better help to start living a healthier and happier life and my link will get you guys 10 percent 
20% off of your first month. So you guys can get connected with a therapist, see if it helps you. I feel like therapy is great for everybody. Yes, what are you doing? What is your dad? I love you. Speaking of therapy, but actually a different kind of therapy, my pelvic floor therapy that I have been doing, I actually have not been going. I was supposed to go yesterday and I canceled my appointment. I haven't been for like three weeks now. It was working so well for me. As I've mentioned literally a million times, I have a lot of pain in my back right here from birth and babies and whatever. I think just since like the baby's getting bigger and everything's moving around so much, hasn't been quite as helpful the last couple times. So I am gonna go after we get back from our trip. I'm very discouraged thinking about how much time I have left in this pregnancy. My back's actually not hurting that bad. That therapy ha like has helped, but it was helping like 100% of the time. And now I would say it's maybe like 60% of the time. So I've also been going to the chiropractor and then what else? I actually have a different problem now. And that is extreme rib pain right here. I always have it right here. And then sometimes I'll have it like on the other side on my back too. Yes. I was trying to look up some like stretches and stuff to do and I did them and nothing helped and I mentioned it to the chiropractor and he like tried three different things and it helped for like an hour and then the pain is back. Yesterday I literally like could not even move because it was hurting so bad. I actually looked it up and it said that could be a sign of preeclampsia which I think happens later in pregnancy. I don't know for sure. I have a doctor's appointment in a couple days so I'm gonna ask about it but I also googled it and I don't have any of the other like symptoms of that so I'm not like too worried about it. The fact that I have to make it so many more weeks in the do you want to go? What are you doing? You can't get out. You got to just open the door. Pull. Pull with two hands. Two hands. Pull it back. Oh, okay, I'll get up. Here you go. I love you. What? You're back already? Oh, basically just getting up and moving and literally doing anything triggers me. These last few weeks are going to be very difficult. Anyways, time to bust out some some work. We're gonna go ahead and just get a couple things done. Okay, it's kind of dark in here, but I just got back from Target. I'm in the girls' bathroom. So in here, we have the new countertops, the new sink, the gold faucet, eventually, just like our other bathroom. Next week, in a couple days, they're gonna switch out the hardware. We got a different mirror. We have the one that goes like all the way to the wall. We got one that's just like a tiny bit smaller with like the gold frame around it, so it kind of just elevates it a tiny bit. I don't think we're doing tile on the wall in this bathroom, but I can't remember. I think I just like kept it simple. But I wanted to get a few things. So we have this drawer that has literally been a mess for like years and I've been meaning to get organizers forever. So I just grabbed these at Target and I just wanna make sure everything like fits in it before I take the tags off of everything. I also wanted to get a couple new little decor pieces. So I got this plant. I also got this little soap thing. And then I got this tray this little thing and a little candle. We're supposed to leave this bathroom empty because they're like working on it still. So I'm kind of just like testing out if everything's cute. But I got some of these little organizers. So let's see if they fit. So that is what that will look like, except it'll obviously be like touched up. I don't know if it's gonna bug me that these don't match, but for now I will just leave that there. I need to like vacuum this drawer out and wipe it down. So I'm gonna do that, but this is so much better. I don't know why this took me five years to do because it's so simple, but the drawer is literally like one millimeter too small to put this one right here. So that's convenient. Yeah, I'm gonna spray and wipe that drawer out and that is so much better. So I'll show you guys everything when it's like all the way finished. I think we're getting a towel rack for right here, which will be nice. I want to get a new shower curtain. I'm going to get a new rug for right here. I want to get like a print to put right there. Yeah, that's a little update on this bathroom. Oh, they also got that switched out, which looks nice. I would love to also rip this tub out because I do not like it. But again, we're kind of just starting small with a few changes. I don't know what she said. Yeah, scoot back and I'll move the suitcase over here so you can reach to. Packing for our trip, we are headed to the beach. Woo! I always like to bring one checked bag. It's really all we have the arms for. We normally bring our checked bag, our double stroller. We're not gonna bring that this time. No. Cause we're gonna be just like at the pool and the beach. But normally when we go like to California and stuff, we go on a lot of walks, we need our double stroller, but we're not gonna bring it this time. So it'll actually be really nice to not have to carry that, huh? Is this one yours or Lola's? Let's see. So like maybe it's Yulia's size. So we're going for four days. We have three nights. We're gonna pack five outfits and we're gonna do two pairs of PJs because I usually just have them rewear PJs. I'm also packing two swimsuits. We have five outfits for Coco. Where's your other one? Is it right there? Let's see, is this your size or Lola's size? Okay, wait, this one I think is Lola's and this one is yours. We have two PJs for Coco. I need you to try this swimsuit on too because this is from last summer. Your new one that you picked out. 
I also have a hat for both of them to wear by the pool. And we have new shoes. That's too big. Yeah, these are nice. Okay, next is mommy's stuff. I was gonna bring this workout set, but I think I'm gonna bring a different one that I need to wash. So we're gonna put that back actually. I also don't think that I will work out, but maybe there's like a yoga class or something that would be fun. So I'm gonna bring one workout set. Mommy also has two PJ sets. And I have a long white skirt. I have this crochet skirt. Okay, I'm wondering if I'm bringing it too much. Should we take this one out maybe? These pants. We really only have like two full days here. I feel like I'm packing it super light, but I literally feel like I'm not even gonna wear half of this stuff also. Should we do that one? Let's do that one. Let's put that back. I have a pink swimsuit that I'm bringing. I have a white swimsuit that I'm bringing. And then yeah. I have a black one. I also have this long dress that I wore um, on the beach in California, but I think I want to take it on this trip too to take pictures. I don't know if this would fit my tummy with the baby in it. This is a yellow button down that I can throw on like over my swimsuits and stuff. Or I could wear it to dinner with my skirt. I just hate when you get back from a trip and you have to unpack and you have to like separate what's clean and what's dirty because I just want to have worn everything so it was worth bringing and I can just like wash it and put my swimsuits in. I need to try these on and make sure that they will still fit me. Obviously they're bikini so they have like a lot of room. I just want to make sure that the bottoms are comfy. These ones have like a tie so they should be fine. I have my cute sunglasses. We're gonna get sunglasses for you guys too, huh? I need to grab diapers. Usually I like to just buy diapers when we go somewhere. Like when we go to California, we usually stay for longer so I don't have room to even bring diapers and it's like super easy to get diapers there. Yeah. We're not gonna leave the resort so I just want to bring everything that we need. So I need to grab some diapers, some swim diapers, wipes, Parker stuff obviously. Yeah. He has not packed yet. We need sunscreen. Yeah. What Lola? And then just like our toiletry bags. Yeah. What Lola? You can come in. Backflip. Whoa. Somehow I was convinced at Target that we needed to buy this even though we already have three of the same guy. Should we be all done packing for now? And then, yeah, yeah I think we're gonna be done yeah. packing for now. Should we put my necklace on there? Oh no. My goodness, that baby. My energy for the day has run out because it's the afternoon now. So we are gonna resume packing and cleaning up the bathroom tomorrow. Okay, so I just got finished getting my eyebrows and my eyelashes done. They always are so dark until you wash them. I got them laminated and tinted and you can't get them wet for 24 hours. So there's like extra tint on there until you wash them. But I also got my eyelashes tinted and permed. I always like to do this before I go on a trip. I also got a facial a couple days ago. I usually like to book those two things together because I come to the same place. I like to go to Bare Skin Studio in either Pleasant Grove or American Fork. I don't even know where I am. Sometimes when you're pregnant laying on your back like that for a long time is just like so uncomfy because the baby's like pressing on everything so i booked the appointments separate for like two different appointments kind of wish that i had just done it in one appointment because this place is not close to my house it was also such a nice day this morning and now it's like so cloudy and overcast and i feel like it's gonna rain but this morning i also had a doctor's appointment for baby everything looked good the appointments at this stage are like i guess honestly most of like the whole time are so short they measure your belly listen to the baby and then just say like do you have any questions i did ask about the rib pain that i have because when i posted about it a couple people said like oh that can be a sign of preeclampsia but i don't have any other symptoms of that or anything so my doctor said we'll keep an eye on everything but she wasn't really like worried about that which is good so there's basically just like no solution to my rib pain i'm pretty sure i had it with the other girls too but it feels like this time it is worse but i probably just like don't remember so yeah we have that going for us i think i'll go to the chiropractor tomorrow today's monday and my favorite guy is there every day except for monday so i don't like to go on mondays last time i went it was like the guy literally did not do anything it was a two second adjustment and he like was not pushing hard enough to actually like crack anything so it was just a waste of a visit and that was my last visit i haven't signed up for like the monthly visits or the like monthly membership or whatever because i didn't want to have to cancel it later so i just did like the past thing and i didn't realize how expensive because i had to renew it like the time after that appointment basically um i was like out of visit so they were like oh do you want to buy more and i was like yeah, yeah, i'll just do the pack again and i didn't realize each visit literally comes out to like 30 dollars, which is so expensive i was thinking it was like 20 dollars or something but the guy that i usually go to he's like a lot more thorough and just like does a really good job so i feel like it's worth it but yeah that other guy cost me 30 bucks and i nothing was adjusted so i'm not gonna go today but i am gonna go tomorrow i also have an ultrasound tomorrow that i think i mentioned in this video already maybe that was on tiktok i don't know it's hard to keep track i filmed a tiktok of like my appointment too but yeah our babysitter's coming tomorrow and then we leave for our trip 
the next day. So tomorrow I can kind of just like get a bunch of stuff done. I can go to my ultrasound. What else? I don't have like a ton of stuff to do, but our babysitter's been out of town and then we're going out of town. So I was like, oh, if you want to come play with the girls on this day, that would be perfect. It's 3.30 right now. My ribs are hurting. <sighs> I'm also so tired. I woke up probably at like 5.30. I woke up and went downstairs, got a little treadmill workout. One of the girls woke up super early too. So I thought I was going to have like a long period of time just like by myself <laughs> having some peaceful, quiet time. Somebody else was also awake, but I still got to like finish my workout and everything. So that was good. Yeah, but I've just been feeling so tired. I don't know if it's like from being pregnant. It probably is. But anyways, eyelashes done, eyebrows done, facial done. I still need to finish packing everything. I'll probably do that tomorrow. I just need to put in like shoes, sunglasses, and toiletries. Okay, we are back in the office. It's the next day and it hasn't been 24 hours yet. So I still can't wash my eyebrows. So they're still very dark. But I posted an Instagram picture the other day and I said drop name ideas for baby sister. And in the past, I've done like reacting to your guys' baby names. So I wanted to do that to close off the vlog because you guys have a lot of cute suggestions. As I've said, I do have one name that I'm like leaning towards, but I feel like nothing is just like 100%. Whereas with the other girls, I had their names like super early. Then I always had a name picked out for a third girl, but it just does not really feel like the right one. But I don't want to officially say that and decide until until I have like seen her, which I haven't really felt like that before with the others. I was just like, no, I know this is their name. So I have one that I like the most. And then I have like that second one that I always thought that I would use. And I feel like I'm still open to like seeing different ideas and stuff. I'm gonna read basically just like the top liked ones and share my thoughts on why or why I wouldn't use it. One of the top ones is Poppy, which I actually love this name. It's not really like common, but I feel like it's kind of getting more popular. And whenever I hear it, I'm like, wait, I don't know if I love that as much as I think I do. Like to actually name a baby that, but I actually call Lola Poppy all the time. Lola turn into lolly turn into lollipop turn into poppers turn into poppy so it's just like a nickname and it would be weird if i named another baby something that i call her another one that you guys suggested that has a lot of likes is noah and i actually love this name parker's name was gonna be noah but or like that was like his almost name or whatever and i always thought that maybe if we had a third this is not like the top name that i liked for like if i had a third daughter but just in general if we had a third i was like oh noah would be cute for a girl or a boy and this specific comment that has like a lot of likes on it is noa it doesn't have the at the end. I don't know if I would have actually gone with NOA or just done it like the normal way, but I always thought that would be really cute for a girl or a boy. I feel like I kind of like it more for a girl because it's literally the number one most popular boy name on like every baby name list. Daisy. I love Daisy. I think it's so cute. We also call my grandma, Grandma Daisy. That's not her actual name, but she spells it D-A-Y-Z-E-E. -E, so it's like a little bit different, but I always thought that Daisy just spelled the regular way would be super cute. I'm really not into like family names usually but I liked that that was like kind of tied to my family and to my grandma I just think of like a yellow lab when I think of <laughs> Daisy, like a dog name. And I feel like Lola also people could think is like a dog name. I feel like there's kind of a lot of dogs named Lola, but I am obsessed with the name Lola. So I don't even care, but I do like Daisy. Another one that has a lot of likes is Romy. This was actually the like number one name that I had picked out before I had Cove through the years, like before having kids. I feel like my top choice kind of like changed as it like does for a lot of people, but this was R-O-M-Y and I had R-O-M-E-E -E, probably is like how I would have spelled it on my baby name list just like on my phone but once I got pregnant I was like okay I just know that like her name is not Romy so I never used it and I still like it and think it's really cute but my cousin actually has a little girl named Romy now another one with a lot of likes that's really popular is Nora it's cute but it just it I don't even want to say it's not my vibe because I feel like it fits my vibe it doesn't fit my vibe all the way I feel like it's kind of more classic and you could say like Lola is a little bit more classic too like older but I feel like Lola's like really fun and Nora's just like a little more chill and calm just isn't the one especially with this baby's energy she does not feel chill and calm unfortunately i was really hoping that she would <laughs> lily is also on here with some likes i love the name lily always like that name i had a friend that i met in fourth grade named lily and i thought her name was like so beautiful and i still really like it but one of my friends has a baby named lily now too so i wouldn't use that zoe has a lot of likes i think i mentioned that on my baby names that i like but won't be using 
list. I think Zoe is super cute. We have another Lily. Oh, Navy has a lot of likes. Navy I think is cute, but I tend to not like names that end in like the E sound quite as much, even though we call Cove like Covey or I call Lola Lolly. So I feel like for a nickname, I definitely still do that. But for like the actual name, I feel like anything that ends in like an E sound, I just don't like quite as much, but that is a cute one and it is short. Someone suggested Dolly, which I think is cute. If you guys know Kendall Haizu on Instagram, her, I love following her and her little girl's name is Dolly. Maeve has a lot of likes. I think Maeve is cute too. These names are all together. Ellie, Isla, Mila, Della, Emmy, and Nova. Those are all cute. I really love Isla. I wish it wasn't so popular. Not that I really cared that much about that, but I feel like it's just like something to consider. It's too similar to Lola. I feel like I would have had to do like one or the other. Junie has some likes. Again, I don't like the E sound at the end very much. Goldie, Sunny, Aria, and Minnie. Those are cute. I think Goldie's super cute. I also like Sunny. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna find like two more. Those are like the top ones. Ugh. Jade, I think the name Jade is so cute. If I just kept having baby girls, I feel like eventually I'd get to the point where I would need to use Jade because I really like it. The last one that has a lot of likes is Rose and Rosie. I like Rosie more than Rose. I think Rosie is so cute, but if you guys know Amber Filler up, I'm friends with her and she has a daughter named Rosie. So Cove, Lola, and Rosie would have been really cute, but I feel like I maybe would have considered that if... Yeah, you like Rosie? Actually, the last one, this camera's also gonna die, so hopefully it waits until I'm finished talking, but this one has a lot of likes and it's Lottie, which I just said that I don't like the E sound very much, but because Lottie is more of like, kind of like British-y vibes, for some reason it feels different to me. And the fact that it ends in like an IE, I think it's just like cute. So that is a cute one, but it's also really similar to Lola. So I feel like I couldn't do that. Anyways, that is it for today's vlog. Everything with our house, like our renovation stuff should be done when we get back from our trip. And I've been working with a designer just to kind of like refresh a couple things. So I just ordered some stuff for that and it should be here by the time we get back. So the next vlog is gonna be really fun to show you guys um, just like all of those updates and everything being finished and some new home decor stuff. I'm not planning on vlogging the trip that we're going on, but I will be posting on like Instagram and stuff if you guys want to follow along there but that is it so I will see you guys in the next vlog I'll have better help links down below if you guys want to check that out yeah I'll see you guys in our next video bye guys